Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to deploy PFSense NetGate image in EVNG. This is a request from the one of our subscribers to make this video. So let's start. Uh, the PFSense link is free, so you can go to this website. Uh, just search in Google pfsense.org or pfsense image download that it will redirect to the page. Then you will be able to download the software. Once you download the software, use 7-zip or unzip to extract the image inside the .gz for encryption. Once it is done, then we can create a, a login to the EVNG using SSH. Then create the folder under Kimu folder for pfSense. So that the image that which I'm using is CE 2.6.0, the latest version. So I already have that downloaded image so let me copy and paste it quickly so that it's easy for the user access okay the image is copying into my temp folder meanwhile I'm going to create the folder for the pfSense under chemo so I'm gonna copy paste Okay, so what I'm going to do, let me see if the image transfer is completed. Yes, it is done. Yes, the transfer is finished. You can see the pop-up. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this PFSense. I'm going to change the name. Okay. Okay, sorry. I copied the complete. Okay, now it is moved to this folder. So let me redirect to this folder again. Yes. Here now you can see now we have the ISO file. The next step is we are going to create QCOV image on this same folder. For that, use a command slash opt q bin q img image then we are going to create hyphen f the format is qcow2 the name as per the eve standard mentioned in the script now we have to give the memory space i am giving 2 gig okay the image is created now QCOV2 image, yes. Now QCOV, after that, what we are going to do, we are going to log in into the Eve using the web URL. I'm going to access the EVNG using the web page. Okay. This NMS password is admin and new. So I'm going to create a new tab. So yes. PF sets. Now add the router. PF sets firewall. In the, here, the trick is it should be VNC, not Telnet. Okay. So I'm gonna connect it to the network. So I won't assign the IP to it, so I just wanted to connect it. I'm going to connect any interface, that's not an issue. So I'm going to do one for the van. Right click, start. It will take few seconds only, like 5-10 seconds. So this is the first time installation steps this are Once you have installed it, then you don't have to repeat the steps again. So let it load. Once it is loaded, we'll have to do a small installation. 
once we have done the installation then we are going to commit the changes to the QMU image that we have created then the next time you don't have to uh, do all the steps you can just uh, add the uh, pfsense firewall then you can start doing your configuration The system is loading. Let's wait for a few minutes to get it completed. Yeah, as I said, now the pop-up has come. Now what we have to do? We have to do the installation. Click accept, enter. Then we are going to do a install. Okay. Then continue with default key map. Yes. Okay. Then do an install. Okay, this. Okay, I need to, you have to press tab. So I did press tab so that it got selected. Then okay. Then okay. Risk mode mode. Okay, so what we are going to do is install it instead I'm going to select so it's saying that memory is not enough so let me see how can I do the partition install so what I'm going to do I'm gonna do so I'm going to do a back setup yes commit okay I'm gonna leave it to what entire disk I'm going to give yes finish commit yes that's all guys so I did a manual installation so let it get completed so that it will get installed it take only few minutes Uh, it says you know finish before exiting yes you should press yes then what you have to do you have to do the reboot from the CLI okay it is rebooting the next what you have to do you can close this off it's booting rebooting so next step we are going to do the commit the changes that which I have done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to again rename this disk to the earlier one. Yes, it is done. The next step is we need to commit it so that next time you don't have to do all these changes in the next VM when you add. So let's get the UUID, uh, lab details, then get this ID, right click, copy paste it, slash. So 
so you can see this how this one comes you go and see here just click your browser you can click here then you'll be able to see notes you will be able to see that the id is one whatever the id is so that will come here on the id page yes then once you have the one then enter so basically going inside this uid actually to change the commit we're going to perform the commit on this image so that next time we will use the same image we don't have to do any steps repeated slash of q bin q image commit so this is the image that we want to do a commit because whatever the installation we have done it is on this image so we are going to do a commit So that the installation will not get wired up once you switch on and switch off yeah the image is committed now okay the next step is to fix the permission permissions done yes uh, that's all you guys again if you want you can add a new image or let me start I'll show you click here VNC will come yes So meanwhile let it load here this is the download software download image page here this is the latest version you can select AMD or 64 I select AMD if you want you can select netgate and try and what is the nearest for your location you can choose that mirroring server then you just click on download then you will be able then you can download it and in case if you want to check your the SSH key yeah, you can see the different versions are also available once you click here there are all the releases from the starting till the latest release is available so you can download directly from here you don't need any credential or login account to do it so so here you can see the as we did the commit the image now it is asking you to configure instead of going for the installation steps so you can create it Um, that's all guys. I think uh, this video is helpful for you to create this uh, PFSense image on UVNG and do subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and do like and comment. Thank you very much for watching the video.